I recently reviewed a fridge for the Model Y where many of you guys said, why not make a fridge that goes into either the front or the lower compartment inside of the trunk? Well, as of today, a company called Acopower has launched their Kickstart campaign for this fridge that fits in the lower part of the trunk, and we're gonna check it out. I have had this fridge now for a few weeks, and between my wife and I, we've been able to spend quite a bit of time using it, and I have to say, it's been pretty useful. Let's take a look around it. First, you have these two really great handles that retract out, making this thing nice and portable because it is big and there is a little weight to it. The top of the fridge is completely flat. It has this great big handle that is also flush with the top. And when you lift it up right here, you see that there is two clips that actually latch this fridge closed that simply retract when you open up the handle. The door is also nice and thick, coming in at about two and a half inches from the top of the door to the bottom of the seal. Now these clips are all plastic and they do move around a little bit. And one thing I noticed is that when it was closed and I pushed on it, you hear that little clunk. I thought that was actually closed and it feels like it's closed. However, if I were to pull from the sides, it opened up again. I actually needed to go down and put a fair amount of pressure on it, and then you get that nice solid click. Now to keep a fridge of this size cool, it takes a pretty good sized motor to do that. So the way it gets rid of the heat is with this ventilation system on the right side here, as well as all along the back. And this is designed so that when it's underneath of the floor cover of that cubby cover in the back, this is actually sticking above where the hole, so this can actually continue to vent, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. This has a power LED screen with a power button, a settings button, a negative, and a plus button for temperature. Inside is just a giant big hole. You get the power cord that's gonna plug into the 12 volt in your trunk, and a microfiber towel, and just look at all that space in there. Now, in terms of storage size, it is eight and a half inches deep. From front to back, it is 12 inches, and it is 17 and a half inches wide, giving this fridge a storage capacity capacity of 34.8 liters or 9.19 gallons. Here are a few more specs you should know about. The voltage is 12 or 24 volts. The weight is 37.92 pounds or 17.2 kilograms, and this is empty of course. The power consumption is 0.20 kilowatt hours over a 24 hour period. So this is always a big concern when it comes to any kind of accessory you plug in your car and leave in your car. So let's take a few seconds and talk about this. First off, this fridge plugs into the accessory port in the back of your Tesla Model Y or 3. And that accessory port as well as the USB ports inside of your Tesla are run off of the 12 volt battery found in your front. But in order to keep that 12 volt battery running when you're not in the car and keep the car from going into sleep mode and turning the power off to those ports, you're going to need to turn your car onto something called camp mode. Camp mode is something you can turn on at your climate control settings. Now the climate control system inside of the Tesla is not run off of the 12 volt battery, but instead the main high powered battery that we consider the Tesla battery. So since this is a drain on your battery, it's going to reduce your range while you're using it. In the studies that were done on this over an eight hour period, the average drain on your battery was about 10%. Now that's not gonna be a huge deal to a lot of you, but it's something to consider. Also keep in mind that if your high voltage battery runs below 20%, you cannot use camp mode. So here's where the potential problem is. The accessory plug in the back that the fridge plugs into runs off of your 12 volt battery. And the concern is that that 12 volt battery is the lifeline of your Tesla. Way more things than you can imagine actually run off that 12 volt battery and you can't even drive or get in your Tesla if that dies. So how much of a risk is plugging in a fridge like this and letting it run? Well, as I stated before, according to the spec sheet, the fridge uses 0.20 kilowatt hours over a 24 hour period to maintain a certain temperature. So is that a big drain, a small drain? Well, let's look at the math. The average 12 volt car battery has a 1.26 kilowatt hour capacity. So if you were to run this fridge off that battery for 24 hours straight, the drain solely from the fridge would be about 60% of that battery. And I've heard that while there's still charge left in your high voltage battery, it will continue to keep the 12 volt battery charged and full, but I have never verified that. So basically, if you're the person that's just gonna go ahead and use it to bring your groceries home, or gonna be doing a little bit of road tripping and maybe you're gonna keep something cool while you're driving your car around, this is never an issue. The only time that the drain could become an issue is if you kept it in there for a couple of days, your car is not plugged in, maybe you're camping or something, then you're gonna actually start seeing some drain on that battery. But here's what Aquapower has done to kind of protect your car battery from this. Cause the last thing you want is to be 
dead somewhere and not being able to go. According to their manual, the fridge is actually programmed to monitor the current coming to the fridge, and when the battery gets below a certain level, it's just gonna turn off so it doesn't kill your battery. Now, before we go on, I wanna thank all of you guys who have taken the time to subscribe to my channel, and even if my videos suck, you always hit that like button for me. That really helps me out. And if you're new here, please consider at the end of this video, if this is in any way fun at all, going down and subscribing to this channel for more Tesla drives, full soft drives, reviews, giveaways, all that fun stuff. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, before we go in and actually install this in the car, I want to address something that I know is going to come up and is going to fill the comment section, and that is that you can go out and buy a cheap $100, $200 fridge on Amazon or somewhere that plugs into your AC adapter, and you can stick inside the hole inside of your trunk. This is not that kind of a thing. This fridge was custom designed specifically for the Tesla, meaning that all the ventilation is designed to be up high out of that hole. It's designed to fit the entire width of that hole, giving you the maximum capacity for storage. It's designed to work with the car battery, so it's not gonna kill your battery. And it's designed so it doesn't go any higher than the hole so you don't lose any trunk space. So those things really separate it from all those other cheap options you have out there and start to sort of make sense why it's priced the way it is. Now, before we install this, there's something that I need to point out. Depending on where you got your car delivered from, the large compartment where this is supposed to go down inside your trunk will be a little bit different based upon where your car was delivered from. If your Model Y came from Fremont, it's gonna be a little bit different inside than your car that came from Texas. So this one specifically was designed for Model Ys that came from the Texas factory, unfortunately, Mine came from the Fremont factory. And so all this means then is that when I put the fridge in here, it's just not gonna go down quite as far as it would otherwise. So to install this is really quite simple. Just carry it out to your car and put it in. The detachable cord is around six feet long, which easily reaches the outlet. You can see how mine is sticking up about an inch higher than it would had my car been built in the Austin, Texas factory. You can also see how the ventilation is above the hole. Now let's talk about the controls. And so when we come here onto the LCD screen, we see here it says it's on DC. 15.6 volts, 59 degrees. We've got Bluetooth symbol there and we got max. I'm not sure what all that means. Press and hold. That turned off Bluetooth. Turn the whole fridge off. Okay, so pressing hold turns the fridge off. Press to turn on. Got settings here. Okay, here's where you set the temperature. So it's set right now at negative seven degrees Fahrenheit. You can adjust that all the way down to negative eight degrees Fahrenheit. And unfortunately, it does not have the function to where you can press and hold to adjust the temperature. So I'm keeping pushing it to see how high I can get it here. Okay, so it goes up to 50 degrees Fahrenheit is what it says here. And I can hear it kicking on here pretty, pretty strong. Take a listen to this. I'll put the mic down there. So I'm gonna let it sit now then, and we'll just see how fast it takes to get down to negative eight degrees Fahrenheit. 1237 now, so I'll come back every 10 minutes and check on it and see what it's at. All right, now here we are back. It is about an hour, just a little bit over an hour. So let's check it out. And here we can see that it went from, what was it, like 50 some degrees down to eight degrees in about an hour. And if we open it up, you can actually feel that being cold. Now, as far as what you can actually fit inside of this fridge, well, I'm pretty sure you can imagine it's a lot. Now, my wife thinks the majority of the stuff that I've installed in my car is pretty stupid. Man, she may be right. But she called me the other day from the grocery store. She was able to go on her lunch break to go out and get a bunch of our groceries we needed, which she usually has to do after work. But she was able to do it because she could take all the cold items and put it inside of the fridge in the back of the Tesla, which kept them nice and cool all day long. And then she was able to come home straight after work, which was actually really cool. Okay, so let's say that you really like this fridge and you want to check out the pricing and maybe put your order in. Because today is the first day of the launch, they're doing something called a super early bird discount. And how it works is that the first 200 people that use the link down below and place their order are going to get 50% off on the price of this fridge. So what that means is that if you're buying the Model 3 version, that is going to come at $299. And if you're going with the Model Y version, that's going to be $349. Now, I'm not the only channel helping to launch this fridge, so I imagine those first 200 are going to go very quickly. And once those 200 are gone, the price will start to go up. So when you click on the link down below in the description, you'll know what price you're gonna pay. So like with any product I reviewed, tell me what you guys think about this one. What do you like best about this fridge? How would you use it? What do you think about the fact that you get to have a 35 liter fridge inside of your trunk, yet on the same time, don't lose any trunk space? And of course, if you have any other questions we didn't talk about here in the video, let me know down below in the comments and I'll get those answers for you. Now, if you're new to Teslas and you're just kinda got yours and you're excited to learn about them, I'm gonna be starting another tutorial series all about everything you need to know about your Tesla. So if you're new and you want to know every little detail and understand how your Tesla really works, subscribe to this channel for that upcoming series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.